hi and welcome to my channel if you are new here my name is amy i create lots of fashion and styling content online as well as designing for my own independent label if you're not new here welcome back thank you for subscribing so i've got quite a chill week this week i'm actually just waiting for the new collection for my brand future shore to arrive the production is done on some of it and yeah it should be coming any day this week so yeah otherwise i've got quite a chill week and i thought what a perfect time to talk you through all the new spring summer pieces that i've been collecting ready for the new season yeah i like to buy things that that i know i'm going to be able to wear now straight away as soon as you get them but also throughout summer and over the next few seasons you know you want things that you're going to be able to style lots of different ways and things that you're going to be able to wear again and again all the pieces that i'm talking through today are like staple pieces i think and these are pieces that i keep reaching for and want to wear every day so i thought i would show you each of the items talk you through them talk about price sizing all that and then show you how i've been wearing them so yeah let's get started okay so we're in spring now everyone's thinking about lighter jackets and one of the spring summer essentials is for sure blazers so this is my current absolute favorite one it's black and from and other stories it's got thread on it it's got shoulder pads and it's just a really nice single breasted really simple shape um, I've been wearing it non-stop, I wear it to go shopping, I wear it, worn it for meetings, like it's just really nice to have a, um, a blazer that you can put over anything and you immediately look that little bit more um, put together. And other stories have recently changed their sizing, um, I used to be a 36 but I was in there the other day and the fitting room assistant told me after I couldn't fit into a pair of trousers that um, their sizing has changed. This one's more on the high end. I think it was about £120, which is more expensive. I've seen, there's one from Zara that looks amazing that I, I wanted as well, because it is like a little bit more oversized and boxy than this one, but um, it, were, it was sold out in my size when I last look. I'll try and link that one below as well. And then I've been looking at really boxy big shouldered oversized blazers and quite a few people have been picking them up from just like charity shops for a few quid so yeah i'd really recommend doing that i need to go and have a look and see if i can find one as well um i've got loads of inspiration for blazer outfits on my pinterest as well i'll link that below if you are interested yeah, this is how i have been styling it with blue jeans these are the top shop editor jeans and just a little nike t-shirt as well as these trainers from Naked Wolf. I really love it. I think it's so cute in terms of styling it other ways. You know, you could dress it down with a hoodie underneath that would make it even more, you know. Should I put one on? Yeah, hold on. yeah you can make it really casual meet street style with a hoodie underneath this one is just from pretty little thing right let's move on to the next piece let's keep it jackets because i've got another one that really goes with this outfit and it's completely a different. black oversized denim jacket so this one is from topshop and it is the dad denim jacket so it's already meant to be oversized, but I don't trust Topshop with their oversizedness. So I sized up one myself and went for a 12 and I love it. It's really big, oversized. The sleeves are like long and it comes down past my bum. This is probably my most worn item at the minute. I literally chuck it on every day to like take the dogs out to go to the post office, whatever. I wore it the other night for a concert at the O2 and um, yeah, it's just really versatile denim jackets are, aren't they? But I just love the shape of this one. It's nice and big, dad shaped, it's something that I'm really into at the minute. And yeah, it will go nicely over this outfit, so I'll put it on. I mentioned I sized up one and got a 12. My usual size is a 10. And I think that, I think a 10 would be great too. Um, but yeah, if you want to size up 
like me, definitely don't be scared. Okay. So yeah, I love how long it hangs down, like just past the bum. It's got really big side pockets. I think it was about 46 pounds. I think I look straight out the 90s with this outfit on. Right, let's do jewelry. So I've been really into my earrings at the minute um, and I just bought these big gold hoops from Monkey via ASOS. I think they were like six pounds or something like that. But I'm obsessed with them and I've been wearing them in literally every picture on my Instagram. So yeah, they're just really big, gold, chunky hoops and they're not too heavy on your ears. I know they might look a bit heavy, but they don't feel too heavy. So I bought another pair from ASOS that come in like a pack of two, these two. And these ones are fine, they're great, I've worn them. But these ones are so heavy, I literally feel like my ear is going to rip whenever I put them in. And so yeah, ASOS, like, what are you doing? They're too heavy. And I wanted to return them, but obviously they're earrings, so I don't think you can return them. So yeah, that's really annoying. I know you can get those little things that you stick on the back of your ear, so your earlobes like don't rip. I do have some of those, but like still, I was just like, no. I've also been wearing my Astrid, I think it's called Astrid and Miu, like ear cuffs and little huggy hoops in my second hole. I love these. I put them in every single day. I just think it immediately makes you look like more dressed up i don't know instead of putting on like makeup or something I'll, I'll pop in all these earrings i haven't actually got piercing here they're just ear cuffs their jewelry is so gorgeous so yeah that's them oops okay what's next oh i actually found my lip should we cross things off so yeah. if you are following me on instagram i'm sure you have probably seen me wear these jeans they're like super baggy, wide leg boyfriend type jeans. So I actually bought mine from Pretty Little Thing, but they went out of stock. Just the other day, I noticed that Nasty Girl now have them the exact same pair in stock. You might have seen that I have been safety pinning the trouser hem to make the trousers more of a like tapered shape. So just to show you quickly, this is what I do, just put a safety pin there, makes the leg hole like a lot smaller, and then you just roll it once, twice, and there you go. Look right, yeah. And it makes them a little bit shorter and also just makes them more tapered in and I just think sometimes that's more flattering depending on like what trainers you're wearing with them and things like that. It makes them quite versatile and I think these are going to be great throughout summer just with like a sort of strappy top and now you can wear them you know with a hoodie and a jacket and stuff. Not only did I get these ones but just the other day these ripped knee ones from Pretty Little Thing. They're gonna be so good for summer, especially like on hotter days and stuff. Also because I, like this is how much I really do love them. <laughs> I got them in the blue color. So yeah, if black's not for you, they do also have the blue ripped knee version on Pretty Little Thing. I'll put links for everything in the description box below. Can't wait to style all these up and I'll show you what they look like on now. Oh, how much are they? I don't know. I think on Nasty Girl, the first pair are 18 pounds. The blue ones, the Ripney ones are 30 pounds. I just put it on with a little crop top from Boohoo and a pair of white chunky trainers. I actually prefer these jeans with a belt on, so I'm just gonna put a belt on. They are with the belt on. So yeah, I like it when they sit a little bit higher up with the belt on, but I know that's not for everyone. I think they're meant to sit a little bit low on the waist. Um, and yeah, I just put it with this little crop top from Boohoo. Um, this is a size 12, and I would say that I'm an eight to 10 in top. So um, yeah, definitely size up, but it holds me in quite well. 
I'm not wearing a bra and it's quite cute. I haven't put it on before. And yeah, so next one. I'm going to turn over the bottoms once like that, but not pin them in. And I've paired it with this pretty little thing, cute 90s style crop top and belted it again with a chain. And I've got Puma trainers on. I love this outfit. I posted it on my Instagram the other day. I think when I think of summer, I think of like having to wear florals and skirts and really girly outfits. And if you want to dress a little bit more tomboy, then I think these baggy ripped jeans are perfect. This top's really cute as well. You can wear a bra with it. I just couldn't be bothered. So yeah, here's another super cute kind of tomboy outfit. Um, I've just styled the blue jeans with this grey jumper sweater from Pretty Little Thing. It's really oversized. I actually got it in a large, so it'd be extra oversized. And I love it. This is another thing that I've been wearing all the time. And I think it goes really well with the blue jeans. And again, with these Puma trainers. I love these. I wear these a lot. But you know what would be another great trainer with this outfit? White, all white pair of Air Force Ones. I think the round toe goes really well with um, baggy jeans. So yeah, I love, and you could pin, pin up the hems on these ones as well, just like the first pair that I did. Jeans, done. Oh my God, did you just hold? Right, this is an unexpected love. I have quite a few bum bags, as you can imagine. And this one I picked up from Topshop, but I just love it because of the size. It's got nothing in it, so I need to stuff it. What can I put in it? I always do, I always do this. I stuff bags with like random items, um, just so they look nicer for pictures. And then I forget I put those random items in there and moan for ages that I can't find what I want. Right, there we are. Yeah, so it's quite a big sized bum bag, but I love it because I love wearing it just over the shoulder as if it's just like a little handbag, like the mini handbag trend. And yeah, it's just like really quite utility looking and really practical because it's got all these little pockets at the front and then the big main pocket. And yeah, so you can wear it cute like this, but I went to a concert the other night and then you can put it over your head and wear it like an actual bum bag. If you've ever worn a bum bag, you'll know that once you put one on, you're like, wow, this is so convenient. This is so much better than having a handbag. <laughs> but yeah, I if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen that I have worn this bag in like every single post. Just because it goes with everything. And I really just like the look of it. It's just like really practical. So yeah, this was like £20 from Topshop and I really recommend it. I love the little zips hanging down as well. It's all very cute. Um, yeah. Another Instagram favorite has been these trainers from Naked Wolf. These are super chunky, oversized dad shoe type trainers. I just had a little look up at the brand Naked Wolf just to see where they've come from and apparently they started in 2017 they're a British band British band they're a British brand it's founded by like four siblings they're all like in their early 20s which is quite interesting and yeah I just love the design and they're something a bit different and just feel really luxurious and designer they are a higher price point i think these ones are about 200 pounds these ones were gifted to me by naked wool if you're into maybe lesser known designers but want to have something that's a bit more luxurious and different i definitely recommend these so yeah they sent me the black and white pair first and i love them i've worn these to death and they still look amazing they're so so comfortable um yeah this is sort of like spacer fabric and they've got the really cute like naked wolf branding um underneath and on the back i love that i love this um like 
Okay. So they sent me these black and white ones first. I also have the white one. And I think these ones are even better because they just go with everything. And these are definitely my most worn trainers for the minute. My Instagram, they're probably on every post. I just think they look great with everything. I love them with a bare leg. They're gonna be so cute in the summer with really cute summer dresses, as well as like with trousers, jeans. So we definitely recommend looking at Naked Wall. All their styling on their Instagram stuff is very cool and really like Y2K vibes. Yeah, they're definitely worth definitely a brand to watch. We might have had a couple of sunny days but it's still absolutely freezing outside and you do actually need a coat. What I would recommend 100% is getting a trench coat. This is the one I have. It is from New Look but it's really quite old. What I'll do is I'll link any similar that I find in the description box below. But why I'd recommend getting one is the they are just so versatile and can really go with anything. I wear mine with joggers, with jeans, with, you know, you can put it over a dress on a night out. It really goes with everything. Trench coats are actually meant to be a massive trend for next winter. Um, so yeah, it's worth keeping that in mind. I think they look great with, uh, with hoodies underneath. Beige is another huge trend for this year. So yeah. Definitely recommend getting a trench coat. If we're on the subject of beige and beige being a trend for this year, one item that I got sent from Misguided yesterday that I think is going to be a real spring summer staple in my wardrobe is this shirt. I'm really into wearing shirts as like jackets in spring and summer. This is a more, it's sort of like a medium weight denim shirt I love this color and it's made of like a denim twill fabric really soft and comfortable and I just love when it's say maybe you want to cover up a little bit or it's maybe not that warm outside a shirt as a jacket is always a really good idea and I love this sort of all beige look because I got this t-shirt from Misguided as well and a pair of matching cycling shorts which I think is such a cute outfit to pair with this shirt I put on these trousers from Topshop these are a cream pair of Topshop menzy trousers they call them so they're like a baggier shape and made of oh god they're like a cotton yeah like a co cotton drill fabric so perfect for summer they're going to be nice and lightweight really good for holidays but also like not too lightweight that you can't wear them on slightly cooler days again like perfect things for perfect items to buy right now if you wear it right now with outfits but also it'll be really good during the summer these are the trousers I love the color they've got these two pleats in the front which make them a baggier wider leg that's still sitting nicely and draping on the body and this is the shirt how cute is this shirt you can wear like a little bum bag over the top yeah this is right up my alley I love this whole outfit with the gold jewellery and yeah I just love this shirt and I think of other ways to style it and these trousers are just giving me menzy dad bite I'm gonna show you um that is like a summer staple is a white vest I definitely think everyone should have a white vest for summer like sort of tank top you know race racer back no, it doesn't have to be racer back, but like tank top, you know, naughty style vest. I do have one, but I the last time I wore it, I was wearing a lot of fake tan, so don't judge me. I haven't put it in the wash yet. This one, sorry, I do apologize, but mine is from Topshop. I like it, but it's a little bit see through. I'm not gonna lie, I would quite like one that was 100% not see through anyone has seen one that isn't see-through with this short sort of like high neck um you know high neck vest shape 
then please let me know. I'd love to know. Okay, final item that I think is a wardrobe staple for this season are a grey pair of joggers. I actually bought these last September and so as you can imagine I have lived in them all winter. They've got pockets, I like the drawstring at the front and they're lovely oversized, really cosy on the inside. I honestly recommend getting a pair of these even if you're just wearing them to sit in and watch movies because they're so comfortable and I think they look really cute. So that's it, that's my spring collective haul. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what items you like. Make sure you check out my brand Future Shaw. I've got a whole load of new spring summer pieces coming so soon. I am so excited about them. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe.